Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and welcome to part two of our Scratch Soccer game. In part one, we got to the stage where basically we just had a goal kick practice game, and if you miss the ball, what would happen is that it would go over the line and you would lose, and that was the end of the game. All right, in part two, uh, we've got a new player here, and also we've uh, added some more features to the game so that what can... What can happen now is that goals can be scored. But again, if the ball goes out of bounds, that's the game over. All right, so let's get to work on taking our part one game and adding these features to make it into the part two game. Okay then, the first thing we need to do is get onto the kicker sprite and go into costumes here and edit this. What we're going to do is we'll take that sprite away, the one that you have to pay to buy from Photo Search, and just start bring in a free one, which we obtain from clicker.com. And this one here, you can use this one and there's no copyright problems or anything like that. So we'll just say okay. And that changes our player over. All right, on the scripts, um, for the player, they're fine, we can leave them as they are. With the ball, um, a few things are gonna happen here, all right? With the direction, uh, when we have goals, the player can just sit under the goal and keep scoring. So we need to introduce a little bit of randomness here. We're gonna make the ball turn 160, not 180. Um, so we'll say in the near opposite direction. And that will mean that they're not stuck in a position where they can't score goals. And if they do score goals, the ball will change slightly. Um, all right then, now let's go to sprites here and bring the goals in. So we'll choose a new sprite. We have a soccer goal here. We actually got this out of an online catalog for an American department store. And we used fireworks replace color function to change the color here of the background to green. All right, so it would match in better because that was all white before. All right, so there are our goals. So what will happen now is when we play, we'll be able to kick at goals. Now, we need to uh, go up here and rename those. So we'll just call that the goals. goals. And what we need to do here on this is add some scripting. All right, now the scripting we need is that we want control. And what we need to do here is add a broadcast message. All right, so we need to have um, the ball hit the goals and then send out a message to all of the other sprites that hey a goal has been scored so let's bring out a starting and we need a forever if and the forever if is that if we'll bring out this touching here um, if the goal is touching the ball well then we need to do the broadcast message so we say broadcast and on broadcast here, we click in there and we say new, all right? And the new message is going to be goal, all right? And we say okay. So that's pretty much set the goals up that when the ball touches them, they'll send out a message goal, all right? Now we need to go to the ball now, and in its scripts, we need the ball to respond to when a goal is kicked. So we use uh, a control block here, when I receive goal. So when the ball receives the goal message, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually sort of do um, some stuff here with the set the X coordinate, okay? So we're going to um, just have a bit of randomization come into the X coordinate. So we go to the green operators and we pick random. All right, so we're going to put into that box, instead of sending x to 0, pick random. And the random numbers we're going to use are minus 20 up to 20. And as you'll see, what that'll do is it'll kind of make the ball wiggle around in the goals a little bit um, when uh, the ball scored. Now, so that the ball can go in front of the goals, we need to change something slightly in the setup of the ball. and we need to use the looks, the purple one here, and we need one which says for the ball to um, come out and be in front of everything else. So we need 
go to front there and we'll just snap that forever back in. So that'll make sure the ball's always the front sprite and it's out in front of the player and out in front of the goals. All right, getting back to this when I receive goal, set X to pick the random number. That'll make it wiggle around in the goals. Now what we need to do now is what we'd like to do is to play a sound. Now, first we'll just set the volume up to 100%. And the sound we're going to play is a drum, and there's actually an effect down in here, number um, 72, for a long whistle. All right, so a whistle will blow. Uh, I'm not sure if you could hear that or not. I'll just turn the speaks up a bit. All right, so a whistle is going to blow. And then we need to uh, go to the purple one looks, and we'll say something. And what we're going to say here is goal. That a goal has been scored, so the ball will send out this little message, goal. Now, back in the um, you lose, uh, we're just going to change that to two seconds down the bottom here in you lose, and here we'll just have it say out of bounds. Okay, just a slightly different message, just a modification there. And that should be, I think that's all that we need. Let's test it out and see how things are going. All right, goals are proving hard to come by here. Now, we had a problem there that when the goal was scored, we got the out of bounds message. Now, the reason being that part of that goal frame is white and we made our out of bounds line white as well. So we're gonna have to fix that and change this out of bounds line to a different color. All right, how we do that is we click down the bottom here on stage and go into the stage. We go to backgrounds on the tab up the top here in the middle and we're gonna edit that background, all right? So let's get the eraser tool out and we'll rub out that existing line that we've got. And to fill in that hole, we'll get the paint bucket tool and get some green paint and just paint that into that gap. All right, we'll use the rectangle again, like we did last time, but we're going to use a um, yellow color for the line this time. So if we pick up, I think, uh, let's say um, this yellow color, and we'll just draw our line in like last time, uh, just down the bottom here, just have a bit of a line there. Oh, squeeze the mouse onto it, it's too small. Let's do Control Z to go backwards again and just try and uh, get this right. Okay, um, not very steady with the hands this morning for some reason. All right, that looks good, okay. And we'll have to go back to the ball script now and onto scripts. And where we've got that touching color, remember, get the eyedropper out and let's just go across and pick up the color of that yellow line, all right? So now if it's touching the yellow, we'll have the out of bounds message. All right, let's try our game out now. Oh, out of bounds. All right, and got a goal after the out of bounds, which was pretty funny. Now, a little cheat is set your player up here underneath the goal so that when the ball comes, um, they've got a good chance of scoring. But because we've put that randomness in where the ball turns 160 ah. instead of 180, it makes it a little bit harder so they can't just camp underneath the goal and keep hitting goals. Because if we look over here in the scripts, remember we set direction minus 160, which means the ball doesn't come off uh, exactly back at the player. Right, one final thing I'm finding is down the bottom here of the ball script, that guy when he yells is a little bit loud, so I'll just set him back to 20%. Let's just have another quick game here. Now. All right, let's get some goals here. Ah, out of bounds, that hurts. All right, so that's the end of the um, part two game. What we hope to do in part three is introduce some scoring so that when you get a goal, it'll keep um, track of how many goals you've got, put a score up. Maybe when it goes out of bounds, we'll subtract away from that score. And perhaps something like that when you get to five goals, that's it, and we can have a big winner message displayed. All right, so remember, look in the YouTube details for this video, and there'll be a link to our website, which will have all of the... Uh, 
code blocks the scripting for each of the items in there as screen print so you can see them and you'll be able to uh, get the kicker sprite the ball the other things you need from our website and you can have a go at making this game as well so it's a whole lot of fun and we think you should do it okay thank you for watching